let's go for next so we are black to play first and black has these two connected rooks and this knight is here we have uh, we have this knight uh, in nearby this white king also queen queen is also attacking that square on h2 try to give some checkmate and but this queen of uh, white is also defending that square h2 right now maybe we can a uh, white can add some more defender like uh, rook and but that square is uh, generally captured by this yeah covered by this knight right now and that knight is also covering that square f2 square okay so what we have in this position this rook is yeah semi open file on this c and also attacking that c2 pawn which is kind of good and uh, maybe we can use that in this thing but how okay also what we have in this position first of all we sacrifice this rook queen capture we go with this attack here because knight can attack here and this rook where we are targeting that one or uh, something else what we are doing maybe we are thinking like capture queen capture let's say queen capture king capture check king move capture and winning that rook so maybe that could be idea winning two rook for one rook yeah that is possible hmm let's go with that i guess because queen queen has to capture that rook is there any other possibility no check from queen because our king is safe right now and uh, yeah if nothing happened let's say yeah rook move we simply capture that queen and then rook capture yeah we, we are winning queen after that so not a problem so maybe we can try with this rook capture c2 queen capture now idea could be like go here to threatening that checkmate but that is easily defended by this one or maybe queen move somewhere like uh, here yeah because queen has to defend that square also so in that case we can go with this queen captures a rook king capture try to give some fog with knight and queen so king move we can capture that queen also win that rook that could be idea in this position yeah 